Hi, this is Chris with uh, Vintage Vultures Reselling. Uh, I got a little tip here for you on going from eBay to whatnot, because whatnot does not have um, a way to make all your stuff go right over. So that's my listing, some listings there came up. But let me go back to the homepage of whatnot. So go up to the top right hand, pick, pick a little guy, uh, pick my listings. Now what we want to do is we want to create a listing. Now we can't do the bulk import. If you click bulk import, it says Poshmark, more coming soon. Hopefully eventually they, they have them all for eBay that you can switch over, but we don't have anything on Poshmark, so we're, we can't use that. So go back to create a listing, single listing, and then uh, let's open up our eBay here. So we have over about 2,500 items on eBay. So if you go to my eBay selling, and uh, you could go to listings up here on the left, active listings, that'll bring up all your listings. Now what I like to do, I like to, just in case I wanna have say, let's say we're gonna have a Thomas the Train auction, because we have a lot of Thomas the Trains. We could do all our items pretty simply and just keep doing it, but I'm gonna do it by, um, uh, let's just say Thomas. We'll just do Thomas Trains, to see how many listings we have of that. Okay, so there we go, you can see our listings here. So all you have to do here now is we're gonna make our eBay smaller here. I should have a second monitor to be doing this. And uh, there's some other there whatnot. So I have my what lot, whatnot create a listing open, and I have my active listings on eBay over here as well. So all you have to do to move the eBay listing over to here, this is the only way, simplest way to do it without retaking all your pictures and everything. If you click on your eBay listing, you literally can drag it right over, right over to whatnot, and it uploads it right into your whatnot. So you don't have to retake all your pics again. So now literally, uh, I just drag them over here. Uh, this can be the hard part if you don't know what um, category is. You have to figure out what categories you're gonna do. That's why I like doing it in categories, because I know this is vintage toys. Uh, for my title, I'm literally just gonna copy my title here from eBay just click and paste whoops not print sorry we're just gonna paste it over description same thing now next selling details now price this item you can see is over here I have it for dollar nine so I'm probably gonna auction that one so I'm gonna put it as a dollar starting price I only have quantity one We're gonna put that at auction, shipping profile. Roughly, it's a small train. It's gonna weigh somewhere between four to seven ounces. Review the listing, and it's listed just like that. So then all you have to do is click back here on your eBay for your next item. Just go find whatever item you wanna post. Um, here, I'll post this train next. So you just pick up your item. You can just X out of that item, create listing again, single listing. And then same repeat the process drop the photo drop the photo you can do as many photos as you want obviously um, I only do two or three switching it over here and then again copy and paste the category oh sorry your title and your description and then I know this is vintage toys hobbies the best category for this one so you can be a little tricky figuring out which category so that's why I like to do like one thing at a time. Again, price looks like we probably had this for a while, so we'll probably auction this one again. Um, just price quantity, one quantity. That'll eventually go to an auction. Same thing with the weight. Review listing, it's listed, just like that. So that, I'll show you an example of a buy it now item. We're gonna go back here to the Thomas so we can just X out that. Um, let me see something that should be a little more right here. Well, let's see this one. Okay, so $4.99 will actually, so create listing. Again, single listing. All you gotta do is click, drag, switch the picture with the arrow, click and drag. Now, so it's the easiest way to move all your photos from eBay over to whatnot. And also it can save a lot of time. You can see I did, I just started doing this, uh, actually I figured it out this way yesterday and uh, I just figured out this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, if you just want to be quick, 
shipping your stuff over from eBay to whatnot. Now, obviously, if you have them posted on both, you do have to keep track. So, uh, $4.99, we're just gonna go a little cheaper on whatnot. Quantity one, buy it now, shipping profile, four to seven. Review listing, and it's listed just like that. So, you can do it pretty quickly if you do it by category and you figure out which category, just copy and paste, and it's pretty simple. Like I said, if you have them both listed on whatnot and eBay at the same time, you do have to pay attention to um, what sold on what, and you have to remove it, so it can be quite a pain. You just gotta hope the same item doesn't sell on both uh, platforms at the same time. But uh, yeah, that's that's a little tip there for you if you're trying to move your eBay over to whatnot, it's pretty simple. Uh, and there you go, see you in the next one.